migrate to uh, standalone components for the app component. So it's all the way, uh, it's standalone components and we don't need the app module anymore basically. So we do it for this to do item component. I could also just have specified that in the schematics when I generate that. So basically I'm typing it in here, it's not having it because it's still not uh, still not uh, imported here. So here I'm just looking up the documentation for uh, standard components and uh, it'll basically say how you in the Decorator here uh, specify the standalone true, and then you have the imports. There's no uh, declarations and that kind of stuff um, here. Uh, it's just the imports you you do. Yep. Yeah. And it basically said you can mix it with the existing ng modules if you want. Um, you can import whatever module. Uh, in the imports, it can be uh, standalone components, but it can also be regular NG modules um, as we know it. And basically, it shows the new way of bootstrapping an application with standalone components. This means a bootstrap application function, um, just the method for getting the providers um, from an import. There's some advanced topics um, for library authors, which we don't need to get into here. Um, So now we're gonna migrate to the new way of bootstrapping using the bootstrap application function. I'm gonna provide that here. Again, we have some migration to do with the prefix of the components. Are we applying it in the HTML as well? And basically, all the old stuff goes away. Basically, we're gonna migrate the app component now to standalone.
Can you read out the app module? Which is now not needed as the app component is standalone. Can you read out imports? I did a typo in the selector name, so it needs to be fixed as well. Now basically the same thing, I'm adding standalone true and I'm adding the imports. So basically it's two item has a wrong selector now. Um, I'm trying to restart but yeah, no. This selective is being fixed. And now it should work. So now I'm starting the application. And we should see it running standalone, but still not showing anything. Because it says browser module already has been uh, been loaded. And basically I just need to remove this now. And now it works, standalone.